Twas the day before finals, when all through the school that a student was studying, freedom was the rule. The books were all closed with excitement of the air, in hopes that Christmas break would soon be there. One student went home wishing only for his bed, while nightmares of essays danced in his head. His mama, in her wisdom, responded with a snap at the idea of not studying, but rather taking a long nap. Frustrated, he went up to his room to review, praying that from this final his grade would renew. Cups of coffee and Coke and Red Bull filled the desk, all while the student's demeanor grew greatly grotesque. His notes were sloppy, and his study guides went missing. The thought of a passing grade was quickly diminishing. No bonus points or teacher payoffs, no exemptions in sight, only adding more hours of study well past the stroke of midnight. Foul rantings on Facebook and blunt tweetings on Twitter, none such as these could console this faint heart that now grew bitter. How could those tyrannical teachers demand this, fumed he? I'm a good student with this much studying. It's just not for me. When straightway without warning, open wide flew his door. It was something that even a glazed and dazed student could not ignore. Twas the appearance of a man, garbed in a robe worn on commencement, paired with a silly square cap the most men wear with resentment. He smelled of musty old books from libraries long forgotten. His face was unshaven with a beard like matted cotton. His breath filled with cheap coffee billowed from his throat. His caffeine jittered hands pulled books from his tote. He examined the student with disappointment in his eye. While glancing at the disordered desk, he breathed loudly a sigh. Why have you waited until only just now, pilled his firm voice. The F you shall receive is not by your accomplished teacher's choice. It's clear that you've wasted your time this semester playing games with your schooling like a young foolish jester. You were warned, you were prodded to slay this procrastination. Thine failure is now sure, and you shall have no great salvation. So on Cliff Notes, on Spark Notes, on Wikipedia at last, these will get you nowhere this course you wish to pass. Pass. You should have listened erstwhile and done what they said, for now on your test shall reside multiple markings of red. In a moment he turned, slammed the door and slipped away. And just like that he was gone, but all could hear him say, Don't give up! Don't give in! And by all means, don't rest! Happy finals to all, and to all a good test. 